Welcome fans of the Cheap Whiskey Racing League. Coming up, the second race of Season 2, Michigan International Speedway. Now's the time to pick your driver. Paco. Slater. Hold the McGroin. Or Salami. The point standings coming in, Paco leads with 37, Salami only three behind him. Much further behind them though is Holden and Slater. They run out the top four, but they also round out the bottom four. Here's how our four heroes qualified. Slater won the pole, Salami got second, Paco starting third, Holden crashed in qualifying, so he's starting last. Getting a good start at Michigan is very tricky and Slater did it to perfection here. Only two laps in and we have our first caution of the race. Even though Michigan is a big track, going four wide is still ill-advised. Another look at it here, McGee tries to go low to avoid the carnage but spins himself out in the process. The restart on lap six shows Slater in front with Paco right behind him. Darcy coming up hot on the outside line, Slater says no way you're not getting by me so he spins himself out to block him. And on the restart after that caution, Jimmy Johnson causes a wreck also. The four live drivers have a hard enough time trying not to bring out cautions without the AIs doing it too, including this where Paco gets taken out by the 30 car. However, Paco does manage to gather it up, can't say so much for the instigator, that might be called karma. McGee should know, when you see smoke in front of you, slow down. Oh, never mind, forget it. Looks like Salami learned the hard way not to drive next to two AIs as Martin gets up into the 01 and takes him out indirectly. Pit stops ensue for all of those infected. Affected, I mean. Including some that weren't. And now it's Paco's turn to screw up a restart as we see him in turn one getting too low under the apron. And when that happens, it's almost inevitable you get slingshotted up in the traffic. And here we see it. Coming back to the line, Slater taps Casey King once, hits him again, then spins himself out into the wall backwards. Nice one. On the restart, McGee manages to go a half a lap without wrecking, but on turn three, he loses it again. Back up in the traffic, causes some mayhem and some carnage. He's gonna gather it up, he's gonna gather it. No, he's not. Lap 23, Gordon gets bumped up into the wall by the 30 car, bringing out the eighth caution of this 60 lap race. Racing to catch up to the end of the pacing line, Salami's coming a little too fast, just to avoid Slater, but at the same time, flat spots a brand new set of tires. Lap 27, Slater, a victim of Paco getting loose, gets clipped on the low side trying to pass, sending up into a big mess of traffic. Meanwhile, Salami trying to avoid the wreckage goes low, but then Starsky goes low too, sending Salami into the pits, although he did still need to get that flat spotted tire set changed. Lining up for the restart, looks like we got McGee in third, Slater sixth, Salami seventh, and Paco starting 13th. And this was the longest green flag run of the entire race, like 10 or 11 laps, until lap 37 where McGee comes down too low on Casey Kane. Man, Michigan's a wide track, you could leave yourself more room than that. Lap 48, Slater gets completely blindsided by the number 99 car bringing out the 11th and final caution to this race. Come on guys, Michigan is not a difficult track to run, 11 cautions is completely unacceptable. Although I think the AI is responsible for about half of those. Unacceptable for them too. And apparently the end of the race was so uneventful we don't even have a clip of it. But our results show Holden finishing fourth even though he wrecked more than anybody in the race somehow lucked out with the caution pit stop sequence something or other. Paco won 10th position, Salami and Slater 14th and 15th respectively. Weirdly enough, completely opposite of their qualifying positions. Thanks for stopping by, race fans. Be sure to join us next time when we go to Phoenix.